Welcome back everybody to Final Fantasy 1. Last time we were exploring the Marsh Cave, we managed to get the crown that the king up in the Western Keep asked us to get. And this time we are going to go return the crown. So let's head on up and give him back his crown. And right off we got a snake to fight. Thankfully, everybody is very powerful. And everybody is leveled up. Wonderful. So, I would like to talk about One Lonely Outpost again. It has met its backing fully. And we are almost at the next day stretch goal. Which is customizable robot animals. Where you can custom, if we manage to get another $4,000, we will be able to customize robotic cows. And we have about 12 hours left before it ends. So anybody who wants to donate, the link will be down in the description. Check it out. It's a wonderful looking game. I've seen a couple of other people play it on Twitch and YouTube. And it looks like it's going to be a very beautiful game. Everybody should go check it out. And we're just mowing through everything on our way back up to the Western Keep. I think we may have slightly overleveled, but... Well, I guess we'll find out soon. We're about halfway there now. We just gotta go up past these rivers, and here we are. Lovely, always love that preemptive strike. And everybody's hitting pretty hard. Hopefully we manage to wipe them all out without taking any damage. There we go. Good job, people. Thank God my top two people are the heavy hitters. That can really absorb some damage. And now we're back at the Western Keep. Uh, let's come up here and go talk to the king. How do I get to the king again? Whoops. Ah, oh, right up here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and talk to him. <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos, King of the Dark Elves. Uh-oh. I'm starting to think mistakes were made. Hopefully we're not screwed. With the combined power of the crown you now hold and the crystal eye I already possess, I will become the true Elf King. It is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. Um, I really think mistakes were made. Let's hit him with everything I have. And... He just killed off one of my people. Wonderful. Thank God I have that phoenix down. And now he is slowing my heaviest hitter. Wonderful, sir. Ouch. He is really hitting me hard, and that's not a good thing. Hopefully he doesn't like fire. I don't think that fire really bothered him. Oh, 
Oh, thank God he missed. Ouch. Oh, there we go. And now he's gone. Now we've got the Crystal Eye. So now that we have the Crystal Eye, we can go back to Matoya. Hopefully she gives us a decent reward for bringing back her eye that she's been needing to see. So first we're going to go back to Elfheim to rest, heal up, maybe buy some more upgrades, hopefully. Thank god these people aren't slouches when it comes to fighting. But I am a slouching and trying to find my way out of here. I don't think spiders like fire. Oh no, it didn't really bother them that badly. Ours intelligence is just low. I think intelligence uh, deals with you hit the ogre, you do fire, and here we go. Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> the spiders just like a little bit of fire. That's wonderful to know. got an ogre chief. Ow. That ogre chief can hit a little hard. Hopefully he doesn't have the health to match with the hard hitting. There he goes. Dang. Definitely gave us a lot of money. Let's go ahead and heal Lola up a little bit. Definitely needs it. Don't want anybody dying on the way back to town. It's a little expensive. I prefer the Phoenix Downs. <laughs> Just because then I don't have to run from everything, I can still keep making money. Alright, now that we're here in town, we're going to go rest at the inn. The last time I came to town, I forgot to heal up. <laughs> oh did not want to go back in there. First place we're going to go is here to the Black Mage shop. I'm going to go ahead and buy him Thundera. That'll always be helpful. And then I'm going to go up here to the level 4 shops. Hopefully they're not too awfully expensive. Alright, we're going to give him Haste. And Blizzara. Haste will be good for my warrior and my monk. It'll let them hit a lot. And... We're not going to worry about buying any level 4 for the white mage. Nothing really too awfully good there. And now we're going to head on back to Matoyas. And I will meet you all in Matoyas Cavern. 
And welcome back everybody. As you can tell, we are back in Matoya's Cavern. Just so you all know, whenever you talk to the brooms, they talk backwards. Like right here, it says B button and select. Now what that does is it will bring up your world map. Let's see, do you have any wonderful words of wisdom for us? Nope, just the same thing. Okay, let's come up here and talk to the lovely Matoya. Oh, what's this? My crystal eye? Give it here. Don't worry, I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. It's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. And we obtained the Jolt Tonic, which now we can go back to Elfheim. And give it to the sleeping prince. Ah, I can see. I can see again. Are you still here? I don't need you anymore, so be on your way. <laughs> You're not even as attractive as I thought you would be. Well, that hurts. And now we are on our way back to Elfheim. And this time I'll let you all stay with me on our wonderful journey back. as we find lots and lots of enemies to fight. And let's just make this real easy for us. Goodbye. Hopefully wolves don't like fire. I hope so. And now we just keep on going down. And then around. straight down and we're going back to Castle Cornelia to get her ship. Well hopefully they have a decent reward for us for waking up the prince. Hopefully they don't try to jip us or anything. sail straight down, fight the sharks. I kind of want to know how the shark is fighting up on top of the ship, though. Wouldn't it kind of be out of uh, water or something? Ah, oh, lovely. Preemptive strike. That's beautiful. And now let's go talk to the prince and see what they have for us. Like I said, hopefully it's something good, but we'll never know. This, this jolt tonic may just be what we need to break the curse and awaken the prince. I will try it at once. Your Highness! Your Highness! I... I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still... dreaming? You. You're the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall follow the legend as it has been told to me and my forefathers. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come. At last. Oh, well now we can finally go unlock all those doors that have been sealed. 
Hopefully there's decent treasure in these rooms. Was there one over here? I don't remember. Maybe? Oh, I think there was. Now how do we get there? Oh, come on. Thank you. I think we can just hug the wall. No, we cannot. Can we go... Can we go this way and hug the wall? Yes, we can. Now, yeah, let's see here. Ooh. Mithril hammer. Lovely. Ooh, money. Money. And bronze gloves. Okay. Well, let's see if anybody can equip any of that. There we go. Let's give her a better hammer. There we go. That puts him up there pretty high. Alright, now we're going to go back to the Western Keep. And see what was behind that locked door. I think I'm going the wrong way. But, that's fine. Give us a chance to test out the new Mithril Hammer, hopefully. There we go. Now you're hitting. And let's go! Too bad we can't dash on the overworld. That is a lovely feature for towns, where we can just dash around the town. And we go up and we go left. And we'll just focus on one and then switch over. Ooh! Ooh! Ow. Again? Eh, can't be that bad. There we go. And... Night. Ah. Uh. There we go, and can we finish off him before he gets the turn? There we go, that's good. Alright, now we just keep going up. Go right up here. And back into the castle. And we can dash around a little bit. I don't know where the treasure rooms are. Hopefully close. Do you think this is where we killed him? Yes. Can't walk out there. So I think we need to go up and around. Upsy daisy. To the left. down and here we go ooh lovely some raids those are normally very easy to take care of ow oh come on don't everybody go after the white mage please goodbye Thank God. Ooh, got a nice new sword. K 
Can you equip it or no? No, you cannot. I like your high attack stat better. Power staff. Hmm. Is that any better than this hammer? Mm, not really. Deal gloves. Let's see here. Can you equip them? Yes, you can. And can you equip the bronze gloves? No, you cannot. Alright, before we go anywhere else, let's go ahead and heal everybody up. Next stop will be the Chaos Shrine. And then Castle Cornelia. So I'm going to go ahead and just flee from everything and I will meet you guys back at the Chaos Shrine. And we're here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and explore this area. Try to remember where those locked doors were. Go ahead and just, I guess, kill things off as we find it. Not going to get much experience or money at all. Really. Every single step you want to do this. I'm getting in there no matter what. Ooh, gargoyles. I remember fighting you guys in the marsh cave. Now, if anybody watching this wants to know why we're not going back to the marsh cave, because there's nothing really worth going back to grab from there. And unlike future Final Fantasies, there's no achievements or anything for collecting all the chests and everything. So we're just going to leave those there for later day. If enough people want me to go back and grab them, I probably will. As of right now, there's nothing. It's not even really worth going back to sell the stuff that we get from those chests. And there's a lot of zombies in here. What were you doing, Gandalf? Well, not Gandalf. Golbez, I think was his name. Ooh. More gargoyles. At least these guys are a little stronger. They'll give me a little bit more experience and money. And I totally did that on purpose. Not accidentally at all in the slightest. I totally meant to have to refight these guys again. And we'll go ahead and equip the wear buster on him if he can have it. There we go. Soon Marcus is not going to have to have any weapons at all. I think there's a few more rooms over here on this side. Ah, and there was a room. 
Yay. Could be worse, could be better. Let's see, is there anything all the way down here? Hopefully. And then after we finish clearing out the Chaos Shrine the rest of the way, we're off to Castle Cornelia. Because we have some chests to open there, and that is also where we need to go next. A leather cap. That's useless. Uh, I guess we'll sell that off. And then off we go to Castle Cornelia. Goodbye, goblins. It was nice seeing ya. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. You shall be missed. Not really. Thank you for the, your money, though. Goodbye, so long, farewell. Leave your money at the door, please. Now we can finally go in the Mystic Key Rooms. Sorry if I get lost here. I don't remember which rooms were exactly locked by the Mystic Key. I think this was one of them, but I could be wrong. Nope, this is just the princess that we saved all the way back in part one. Okay, nothing from you. How do we get up there to you? Ah, never mind, I see how to. Sorry guys, I'm just a little lost here. You know, get hit in the head one too many times by the monsters. Tends to take its toll a little bit. The time has come to use the key. The equipment within should be helpful. Ooh, saber. Cottage. Mithril knife. Ooh. I like mithril knives. Those are normally pretty good. Tent. Iron armor. Ooh. And then I obtain nitro powder. Ooh. That sounds like it's going to make a beautiful boom somewhere. But first. Can't give you that. Go ahead and just remove that from him. He doesn't need it anymore. Okay, Mithril Knife's not really worth anything to us either. Alright. So, let's actually talk to this guy. See if he's got a hint of where we need to go for the Nitro Powder. Treasure House is inbound by the Mystic Key. Well, that's very helpful. Nobody's over here. Nope. We'll just cheat and walk up the top and walk right back in the bottom. Sir King, do you have any idea? Sarah's thoughts are always with you. She wants us to live with her. Dancing girl in town. 
Okay, let's go talk to the dancing girl in town. Maybe she'll have an idea. I don't remember exactly where to go, so... Are you the dancing girl? You kind of look like you're dancing. Uh, I guess not. Are you in here? Oh, uh, there's just the four creepy old men. We will sleep at the end before we leave, though. Ah, I think you're the dancing girl. Okay. Narek the dwarf has been looking for powerful explosives. Ooh. Okay, so we need to go find the dwarf. I think I know where to look. I feel like we need to go up this way. And this way, maybe? Hopefully... Okay, it's just regular train slows. That's fine. There we go. Look at that. Look at Marcus go. That was four hits for 111 damage. Goodbye, so long, farewell. I'll put your money to good use, don't worry. I think it's right in here we need to... Yes, here we go. Okay, one worm down. Yogurt's down. There we go. See, Marcus, you have finally realized that you are a powerhouse, and you absolutely need nothing to protect you. Here we go, Mount Duogar. Can I take these? With a crystal eye, even the blind can see. I hear that the dark elf also spilt the one belonging to Matoya. Yeah, thank you. You've already gave it back to her, though. And thank you for the money. Laliho! Have you blethered with our smith? Smith? In the smithy he is. I'm looking for some Leviston. It's supposed to be an amazing material that actually floats in the air. I'll let you know if I find any, good sir. That sound? Aye, that's Narek. He's smooshing rocks in the back of the cave. When it comes to defense, a good armlet can be every bit as astute as body armor. You should try one out sometime. Don't know why I'm giving all these dwarves a Scottish voice. Laliho. That sound? I that's Nerk. Okay. Somebody else already told us that. Have you blethered with our Smith Smith and the Smithy he is? I think I already talked to you, sir. Let's see. Anybody good up in here? Oh, I think this is the Smith Smith. If only I could have some of the legendary metal adamantite, I'd be able to make such a magical sword. Okay, so you're not going to say anything besides you want legendary metal. Okay. The earth has started to rot. It began in the west and now the decay spreads. <laughs> Nitro Porter. The explosive force in this portal will have me come out open in no time flat. I owe you kids. There we go. Now we can blotter this rock to smithereens. What are you standing around for? 
I thought it set the blow. Unless you plan on going with it, you better get out while you can. <clears throat> well, I'm glad that didn't explode while we were carrying it around. That could have ended very badly for us. Land bridge is gone, now I can sail through to new areas. I cannot wait to see what lies out there beyond the canal. Let's see. Nothing there. Let's go all the way over here. I guess this is his house? Oh no, this looks like a treasury. Worm killer? Ooh. Ether. That could be helpful. Potions. Always want more. Mithril mail. Money. Another cottage. Cottages are always useful. Normally very expensive though. Great helm. And a tent. Well, we just got some more upgrades for you, sir. all there was for this area. And I think that's all there was for this whole area. Where'd Nerik go? Can I no longer talk to him ever again? Have you seen the canal yet? I'll tell ya that Narek's one leaves some dwarf. No, I wasn't done here yet. I still have some doors to talk to. Lally ho. Okay, I guess Narek is untalkable after you give him the powder. Hmm. Got aside, I could use his explosive genius a little bit more. Are you sure he was not in here? Nope, not at all. Okay. We're going to head out here. And that's about all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you see anything that I missed, leave a comment. Or if there's something in specific you'd like me to try to do. I'll, if I can do it, I'll attempt to. Um, like I said before, check out One Lonely Outpost. It's got about maybe 11 hours left on its Kickstarter. It looks to be like a very beautiful game and I will see you all next time.